All right, I did stop it for a minute, though, so you don't see the entire thing. Anyways. So, I, I just... I just kind of wanted to say, like, like, just think about, think about all this. This, these, all these words are are just so good, and I, I just, I just love it. Uh, introduction back to the book. It, introduction to themes of consciousness. Science, scientific discovery has now revealed that everything in our universe, include including human thought and emotions, is composed of vibrating energy each each unique and varying in the uh, calibration of frequency themes of consciousness reflect these varying frequencies which are the universal which are universal to humanity and represent the overall equality of e uh, experience each of us is having from our vantage from our own vantage point. We can think of themes of consciousness as the lenses through which we view reality. Thus the frequency we are in or the theme of consciousness our soul is occupying di uh, dictates our level of suffering, pain, joy, love, peace, and overall level of sa satisfaction of our everyday life. So I just want you to think about, like, a lot of my podcast is talking about raising and lowering your vibration, raising and lowering your frequency in order to change the reality of which we perceive, right? I'm, 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 I'm always quoting Bashar, um, the extraterrestrial who, who channels Daryl Anka, and I'm quoting these past life people and all that and it's it is it's always coming down to um changing your frequency and even scientists are starting to figure out that um everything is basically a, a vibration it's it's basically a frequency it's almost like a tv channel right you can you can change your frequency and perceive and change the way that you perceive the world and then the world around you will slowly manifest you will then slowly manifest your goals and dreams and desires if you can change the way that you view things and the way that you see things it's going to change everything that's around you in your life um and i guess i can show this in the video you know, it's, it's, this book has, like, all these different diagrams. It's really good. Um, <clears throat> so, the process of awakening. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this and kind of... Um, I don't want to make these podcasts super long. I'm, I'm aiming for about 30 minutes. Uh, this is the inner work of removing all obstacles of which stand in the way of our rightful inner peace freedom and joy and luckily the only obstacle we encounter along the journey is ourselves <laughs> boy that is that's deep right there our busy, biggest obstacle is ourselves isn't that good it, so that means you're in, you are in control of your life that's what it, that's what i read from this <laughs> it is all within our own control to evolve our consciousness and to transcend our limiting programs. It is only a question of willingness to su surrender and receive the goodness that is innate, innately a part of us. Uh, innately meaning um, it's, it's this, this word is, is tripped me up sometimes. So I'm just assuming it, it could trip you up it innately is something that is is embodied in us it's it's buried it's 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 attached to us right so just just that little definition there everything we are seeking outside of ourselves is actually already resting in the palms of our own hands as 
resistance to accepting and enjoying deep happiness and fulfillment in our, in our lives ultimately, ultimately stems from a wounded theme of consciousness. The theme that we innocently inherited is some part along the journey. Through the repeated beliefs, thought, and emotions, and finally in our own words and actions, this limited version of our potential becomes the sense of who we are. We are eventually, we then eventually find ourselves stuck in a groove, a pattern of life that we begin to accept is just the way things are. Luckily, it is completely possible to realign every aspect in our lives back to infinite peace. It is only a matter of looking within ourselves and becoming self-aware. Who looks outside, here's a quote, who looks outside dreams? We look inside, awakes. Who looks outside dreams? Uh, comma. Who looks inside, awakes? Uh, Carl Jung. Young spelled with the J, J U N G. Um, so basically, that this whole book is trying to teach you, um, and is is helping me, and hopefully I'm helping you understand that um, your consciousness, your your true self, is really is really your consciousness. It's really, um, it's it's all inside you all the physical reality stuff you know we get stuck we get stuck in these these patterns these holdings um these things that that the physical reality or the forces upon us we we do all this and um <laughs> we say well this is what it is this is what it, no <laughs> find the real you if you find the real you and this is what I want to help you through this journey do. I want to help you find the real you uh, through my podcast, through the YouTube channel that I'm doing. Um, and it's, that's my goal right now is to help people. And I'm going through it. This is the first time, this is my first read of this book, you know, so I, I'm not, I'm not certain what's in it. I am going to read it and then reread it to you. Um and kind of break it down, <laughs> right? But, um, you know, it's it's my viewpoints, and the viewpoints are heavily influenced by the book, and all the, all the quotes in here. I mean, I, I've, I did very, very short research on this Carl Jung guy. He's, um, he's kind of the opposite of Freudian, um, psychology, and I'm I'm finding that it's like the more I look for spirituality, the more it comes to me, and it's like, hey, this is this is really helping me uh, find myself uh, going through a divorce. I uh, went. I should say, I need to change my I need to change my mindset. I went through a divorce, <laughs> like that is done. It's over with. Um, it was painful. Uh, it was horribly painful. I'm so glad we didn't have kids involved in, in, in this experience. I'm so glad that, that, um, all that, I mean, I look at it now, man, I don't know. Am I happy we didn't have kids? I'm not, I don't know. We didn't have them. And, uh, it's a positive I got to take out of it right now. Um, I've, I've lived by my, I lived on my own for a year. That has been a, a huge challenge. Um, I I have had a lot of time by myself to sit and ponder and I needed that time uh without that time to sit and ponder I mean I was in a really dark depressed state um and just now my mom passed away one of the biggest influence influencers in my life um and finding this spirituality finding this this has really helped uh the thought that we, uh, and I, I talk about it in, in previous podcasts as well. <coughs> I'm 
Sorry, I'm getting over a cold. I have to stop occasionally and just cough it out here. I feel like I've been in this cold for like three freaking weeks. Um, but anyways, <laughs> finding this, this is really, um, the idea of you exist. Non-existence doesn't exist. That That's, that's the definition of non-existence. So you exist, your soul, you are your soul. This physical reality is not, is not you. It's, it's just a body. It's a vessel. It's, it, it's, that's all it is. The real you has been living for billions and millions and billions of years. That, that's what you have to remember. You exist. Everything exists here and now. So all the multiple, uh, all the multiple, uh, realities, the, the, the multiple universes, the multiple dimensions, they're, they're all out there. And everything, the, the future, the future of yourself, what we perceive as time, present, future, past, is only relative to us humans because we're here on earth right now and we've, we've built a construct of time. So everything, all these parallel universes, these multiple parallel universes are all happening exactly right now. They're all happening right now. Um, it's not a different version of you. It's the same version of you. Seeing these, you can change your frequency. You can change your vibration. You can raise your frequency. You can become the best you you can be. And therefore, the reality that you perceive will shift to the reality that you want. That is the idea of this entire spirituality thing. It's the, it's the, it's the core basic um, teaching you. It, it teaches you that um, your real, the real you is your highest self. Your real you is your soul. It's connected to the all. It's connected to the source. It's connected to God. If you want to call it God, it's connected to the, the to the, to the top spirit. And um, you are part of God. You are div you are divine. You are divine because you are made from divinity. You are made from God. So if God made you, then you are part divine. That's something that you have to realize. You are part of the all. The all being God. You are part of the all. And without you, the all does not exist. Without you, the all does not exist. And for anyone on the YouTube wondering why he's closing his eyes, it's just easier for me to talk sometimes. The the video portion of this is is just so you can see me and put a put a face to it. This is me. This is the real me. And I'm not I'm not real professional, but the video, I, you know, I dress how I dress. I look how I look. Um, I'm not gonna. I can't give full eye contact. I my my. My awkwardness, I am very awkward, I'm very shaky, I'm very fragile. Uh, that's who I am. So it's just, you got to bear with it. But I'm giving you the real me. That's what I want everyone to under, out there to understand. This is the real me, it's the unmasked. You know, we These days we're talking about being masked and unmasked. Um, you want to see the fake me? Go join me in... Uh, retail setting where I have to pretend to be a corporate manager of a business there that that's my that's my job right it's being the corporate manager of the of the business um and even though you know I'm at the store level but you you want to see the fake me you can come buy buy a sandwich from me if you want to see the real me you, you sit here and watch the YouTube anyways and and that's what this is spirituality has done it's 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 helped me become the absolute me. That's what it's done. It's helped guide me towards becoming the absolute me. And I found this book um, online. It came to me online and um, I bought it. And I said, this is the next podcast I'm doing. And here we are doing it. And I just love it. And um, hopefully... It, and that's why my podcast is called My Gift for You. Hopefully you find this podcast and you kind of say, hey, I like this guy. 
I like what he's saying. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start uh, becoming the best me I can be. I'm going to start putting passion into everything that I do. I'm going to find my highest excitement. I'm going to find the joy and happiness in my life. And I hope that you find the message and you take it and you and you go with it. And it becomes something that it, it, you become the real you. That's what I'm hoping for. So anyways, um, like I said, I don't like these things to become super long. Uh, we're at 33 minutes, which is perfect. Um, so I'm going to sign out. And uh, that was chapter one. I kind of read you through most of chapter one. I skipped a little bit of it because it's, it's some of it's kind of redundant. But it's good that it's redundant because it, it helps you understand. Like they're, they they really try and help you understand exactly what they're trying to say through these pages and words and stuff like that. It's not necessary for me to read the entire word, word from word. I, I get close. I get close. I break it down. Um, I don't change the meaning of any of it. I just kind of tell you how I'm reading it and how I'm doing it. Anyways, DJ Podcast, David James. Uh, this is my gift for you um, signing out. And I'll be back. We're going to do Chapter 2 next. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not certain. Uh, expect nothing. That's, that's always a good theme to have. Um, DJ Podcast, signing out. And then the video, we're going to end it there. And you could find... Um, D, the, it's gonna, it's on my YouTube, it's on Spotify, it's good. Thanks for your time, guys.